Hello and welcome to Automate with Red Hat Ansible. I'm Daniel Newman, your host, principal analyst and founding partner at Futurum Research. Excited to be part of this continued short high impact series of videos. And today I am joined by Michelle Knoll talking about industrial automation. Hey, Michelle. Daniel, hi, good to see you. Let's start with a big picture topic. You know, I've worked with you over the years uh, in your past in IT, IT OT. I've followed your work on social media. You've become kind of quite the influencer yourself in the space of IT automation, IoT. Talk to me about the key challenges facing industrial companies. Yeah, so there's a few that always sort of bubble up to the top, safety and security being first and foremost. So if you Think about from when you're on site, for example, at the in sort of the operational world, whether it's a, at a factory or on an oil field, safety is of top priority in, in the um, securing those life safety systems um, that are out there to keep the workers safe. And then from a security standpoint, thinking about again, even in the operational world of where you have this proliferation of um, smart, intelligent assets that are that are deployed at some points, some amount of that data is gonna to have to be sent back to the data center, so, and then vice versa. And so that security opens up, you know, some potential security um, challenges. So that's that's something that, that that bubbles up to the top. And then sustainability is another one that, that we hear a lot about. So, and really maintaining the government compliance uh, in, in that regard. And then also just having a um, consistent and efficient uh, execution of things in, in a scalable way. So I, what I mean by that is, so if you think about um, in the OT scenarios, for example, where there's often little or no IT staff, right, that are necessarily deployed there. And so when things have to be addressed, being able to, um, you know, do that in a consistent, reliable way, even you know, out, out in the operational world. And to scale, scalability comes in when, you know, companies know they need to be able to um, and add additional use cases as, as time goes on. So that's important as well. Yeah, a lot of this has bubbled up because the proliferation of data as a whole. As we've had this series, I've talked to people about different parts, you know, uh, topologies and network scalability, but the overall volume of data seems to be a challenge that all these companies are facing. And of course, as you mentioned in industrial, it's maybe even more significant because the amount of IT support and staff is often less and so there's that coordination with IT, but it's not always as well coordinated. We'll, we'll actually talk about that more later. It feels like um, oil and gas, manufacturing, some of these things have become well talked about, but within these industries, you know, what are some of the use cases for automation that you're seeing? Because of course they're industrial application of tech, ITOT, those are the industries they're facing. What are the applications and the use cases you're seeing within those industries? Yeah, so predictive maintenance, maintenance continues to be at the top, right? A top one that, and and obviously all around decreasing the downtime and, you know, um, improving the operational efficiency and things like that, um, and decreasing operational and, and maintenance costs. So that's a huge one. That's that continues to be. Um, we also see things around the automation of factories, um, in the oil and gas world. We're seeing a lot um, in the in the safety realm, so preventing oil spills, things like transporting, um, air quality, things like that. Yeah, that's a lot of them. And, and I also like that you mentioned early on, probably worth pointing out again, is the automation of being able to implement, track, monitor efforts for ESG, which these companies are under a lot of pressure to be more active, to be more participative, and of course, to be more measured in the work that they're doing to to drive sustainability goals so that, you know you take all those things and that's actually quite a bit of an operation streamlining reducing downtime increasing productivity and of course being able to participate in the in the global economy in a way that is meaningful to people so over the years i remember actually working with you like five years ago four or five years ago on an itot study and i remember back then the whole study was sort of uh kind of looking at all the challenges and it seems to me like we've made some progress, but frankly, the ITOT convergence actually probably hasn't progressed as much as we would have thought for all the things that are out there. Automation seems to be a way that can help. Talk about that. Yeah, so it really is. It's interesting. Um, it's the challenge is still, we, we actually, Red Hat just recently commissioned a study uh, just a few months ago, and it, that this was a study that was done across hundreds of, of companies, um, across all the geos, you know, um, 
all of the sort of sub verticals within the industrial realm and OTIT convergence still is the primary, uh, they're seeing it as the primary um, contributing factor to whether or not they achieve their strategic objectives or not. So it's still a big challenge. Um, a lot of it too is, um, you know, the, the OT folks there, there is, you know, are very, their, their world is all around the intelligent assets and, and that's their, their, what they love. And then you have the IT world that's server solution focused. And so being able to have an, this end to end um, sort of view of all of that um, and, and control of that and line of sight into that and then applications that can, um, this is where Ansible fits in really well because Ansible Automation Platform is an IT automation tool, but where it's a simple, easy to use tool that can easily be deployed in the operational world. Yeah, so much about being able to do things quicker and remove the risk of, of mistakes, human error in the loop, uh, using automation. And of course, it's not about replacing and displacing, it's about upscaling and up-leveling the worker so they can focus on more important things. I always like to make things real and Therefore, I'm going to ask you about some customer examples. You're working with the customer community closely. Talk a little bit about, you know, a few good examples of customers putting this into in the place. Yeah, a great a great example is with Siemens. So, in thinking about the the nature of the work they do in the industrial realm, right? Like things like smart grids, medical imaging. There's a lot of very sensitive um, data that needs to be secured and confidential information. And so, um, there, in terms of like their uh, they're set up, they have about 295,000 employees. On top of that, another 100,000 employees at business partners who they work with. And so they've set up these, these public key infrastructures or PKIs really to check the certificates and identity of the public keys, keeping everything secure and safe. Um, and so they're actually using Ansible to automate um, you know, the, the management tasks as well as to improve the communication security. And so they're, they're saving money, they're saving time, and then they're also with that and what you alluded to earlier as far as freeing up you know time and resources to focus on innovation and really the the next what maybe is the next generation of industrial technology that that might be coming out yeah no it's a it's a great example and obviously it's a great example of a company that uh not only is known for being an industrial company that also builds software for industrial iot the partnering with uh, red hat ansible it's a great sign of validation so got to wrap this up michelle Give me a couple of key takeaways for the audience. Yeah, I would say it's really important, especially kind of connecting all the things we talked about with IT, OT conversions, automation. So really having a um, buildable, you know, reusable uh, uh, platform and, and strategy that can be that can be leveraged and continue to evolve as business cases evolve. Yeah, the application of automation is certainly going to move companies forward faster. So it's important that they look at that, implement it in their strategy where they can, and of course, scale as it becomes more possible and more understood within the organization. So Michelle, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for tuning in to Automate with Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. Please subscribe to hear and watch all of these episodes. To learn more about Red Hat Ansible, you can follow the company on Twitter at Ansible, or visit the website, ansible.com. For more on Futurum Research, follow at Futurum Research on Twitter or on the web at futurumresearch.com.